approximately 60,000 free plugins in the WordPress repository and finding the good ones can sometimes be a difficult task. So in this video I'm gonna show you five free plugins you may find useful. And first of those is called flexible table block. So what does it do? I'm gonna go to the dashboard, I'm gonna open up a post, let's see here. And if you're using a default table block by the Gutenberg itself, then it's somewhat limited. You can't do much with it. You can't change the column width and so on. So instead, I'm gonna use a flexible table. And as you see, it's much better already. Let's add five rows, three columns. If I would like to delete a row, just delete it here. Let's take a look at the table settings, header section, footer section if needed, whether the table cells are fixed, whether to scroll them on desktop view, stack on mobile, fixed control, table width, max width, and so on. You can also customize cells separately. As you see, cell settings, you can set the cell width, font size, line height, and so on. But there are also global settings here. For example, let's change the stripe style background for this, just as an example. Cell styles, cell padding, let's add bigger padding here. Cell border, just for fun of it. Let's save settings. And there you go, you'll see it here. Let's add something to the table. Now let's update it, view the post, and there's a table. Some flexibility while creating WordPress tables, then this is a good plugin. Next one is called ACF Quick Edit Fields, that is Quick Edit Fields for Advanced Custom Fields. Let's take a look. I'm gonna go to the old posts. I'll have that same post opened up here. And as you see, I have three custom fields created with advanced custom fields. Now, if I would like to change the values from those fields, I need to open up the post, but the quick edit allows me to do it here. Also, I can do it, it by bulk. Let's select three posts, edit, apply, do not change. I'm gonna deactivate it and change the information here. Whether to prepend or append some operation here, update and done. Now setting this up is really easy. After installing the plugin, go to the field groups, open up your fields. For example, I have for portfolio here. Now open up the field and under the presentation, you can activate list table settings, whether to show it in the column, whether the column is sortable, column weight, that is the position, enable quick edit and enable bulk edit. If you would like to activate the backend search, for these fields, then you can do it here. Let's imagine that I'm gonna activate this field and maybe this field also. I'm not gonna display this one in a column, but I'm gonna enable quick edit and bulk edit. I'm gonna save it. And now if I go to my custom post type called portfolio, take a look at the old projects, quick edit, then you'll see this is uh, coming from the advanced custom fields and I can change the information here just with a couple of clicks. Awesome plugin if you're using advanced custom fields. Next one is called Fluent Snippets and it's a plugin created by the same team that created Fluent Forms. So what does it do for you? It's a simple snippet editor from here. It's a Fluent Snippets, open it up. Under the settings, you can set whether to activate the snippets by default and whether to automatically disable script if there is a fatal error. There is also a safe mode URL. If something happens, then you can visit this URL and deactivate it. Now, there is also a nice feature that is standalone mode. It says that Fluent Snippet does not force you to keep installing this plugin all the time. You can disable or uninstall this plugin and keep running your snippets as a standalone mode. Awesome. Now, adding snippets is easy. Just create a snippet, custom field in custom tab. You can group them, set the priority, add some tags, and now you can choose where to run it, whether to run it everywhere, in admin panel only or front end only. I can also activate the conditional logic, that is, where should this snippet run? Based on user, logged in, user role, type of page, URL, post, post type, and so on. 
and you can also add the logic based on the date. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going to create snippet. And what did it do for me? It added a custom tab called delivery information with information here. And what else did it do? It added me a custom field under the shipping here. So if you need a simple way to add custom snippets or custom code to your site, then Fluent Snippets is a good plugin. Next one is called Xmenu. Probably I pronounce it correctly. Xmenu, WordPress category, accordion menu, and frequently asked questions. So let's take a look. I'm going to go to the X menu here. I'm going to create my first menu. Give it the title, product categories, next. Now I can choose a menu source, whether it's taxonomy, custom WordPress menu, or frequently asked questions. It's a taxonomy. I'm going to choose product categories, finish. Now I'm going to edit it. And here on the right, I can see the preview. I'm not going to go through all the details here, but you can customize the layout. You can choose between the skins. Maybe this one is the one I like more. Ooh, doesn't look good. There is also pro version, but if you would like to use a free version, then this is one here is good. Now, let's imagine that this is something I like, although I can customize it further here. Under the display, I can set the radius, border width, colors and so on and so forth for container terms links toggles images everything basically here so let's publish it grab the code go to the appearance widgets i'm gonna open up the main sidebar let's search for x menu here so i don't even need to use a short code and this is the one i created earlier let's add the title categories Update, let's go to the shop. Let's find a page with a sidebar, this one here. And there you go, my accordion menu here. Awesome. Okay, last one for today is called Advanced Dynamic Pricing for WooCommerce. I can't believe this plugin is free. Mostly it has also pro version, but I have a free version installed. So pricing rules, I have created three pricing rules, but Adding one is really easy, just add a rule. Select discount type. I'm going to add a bulk rule. Select the product that is golden lamp. And now bulk quantity based on the all matched products. Fixed discount for all item. Let's see. So if the qu purchased quantity is from 3 to 5, then the price is... Oh, I don't remember what the price was, so I'm going to add a percentage discount, 10%. If 6 to 8, then it's 20%. Save changes. Let's go and find the product. This one here. If needed, I can display the bulk deal table. This can be deactivated from the settings here. Product page, bulk table. So show bulk table and product page, I can deactivate it here, refresh it, and it's done. So let's see, six products. And as you see, instead of this price, I'm going to go to the cart, so it's better visible. Instead of this price, I have a 20% discount. This way you can create all sorts of pricing rules. I have created packages for roles. That is, if the user role is silver, then they will get 50% off from accessories categories and a different package for gold user role. You can create basically every kind of pricing rules with this plugin. Awesome. Okay, and those were the five great plugins. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, I have created a separate video about the advanced dynamic pricing for WooCommerce plugin. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it. In the meantime, take care.